This is the Enjoy Life Podcast, here to help you choose your mindset, goals, and actions so that you can guide your life in the direction that you want it to go and enjoy it. It does take a little bit of work, some effort on your part, but that effort is worth it because this is your life and you can experience the benefits of the work that you do. And this podcast is here to help. Life doesn't magically turn out exactly how you want. It's up to you to make it happen. Now, you may not have chosen to be exactly where you're at right now in your current situation, but you will choose what you do about it. If you're ready to put forth a little bit of effort, take some small steps toward living the life that you want, then you're in the right place. Let's get started. Well, hello there. Welcome to the Enjoy Life Podcast. I'm your host, Nick Maisie. I'm glad you're here today and joining in this new year. And I believe that this new year means that you're going to be taking some, some good steps, some, some steps that, that are intentional, that you want, so that you can guide your life to go in the direction that you want it to go. Uh, just really excited. I love New Year's. I love any time that it, it's, it seems like it's easier to, to think about uh, things being new. Um, and New Year, a brand new year is a great time for that. You know, I just, uh, I, I love it. You know, thinking about new beginnings and taking life in a new direction, uh, it's awesome. You know, it doesn't mean that anything was wrong with, with the last year or where we came from, but having that mindset of, you know, I can do something new, I can take a step to improve, I can adjust my life, uh, you know, I, 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 it's, it's a great thing. I hope that you're seeing a, a new year at, in a sim- similar sense. Um, once again, it's not that saying that the last year was bad or that we're bad because we want to make a change. It's just that the, the new, the improved, the better, well, that's kind of like the, the secret sauce to life it is making those small changes and adjustments and improvements so that you can continue to improve it and guide your life to go in the direction that you want it to go and make it more how you want it to be. Uh, I, I love it. Uh, and uh, you know, I hope that you're taking some steps to do that. And if you want to take some steps to do that, then you, you're probably just in the right place. Let's go ahead and just dive into today's topic. You're talking about uh, 2020 vision uh, is not just for hindsight anymore. Okay, well, it, this is the year 2020, so of course I got to bring that into it. Uh, you know, we often talk about you know hindsight, you know, being 2020, being that it, you know we can have a crystal clear uh, vision of, of what happened in the past. Well, I'm saying it's not just for the past anymore. Now, no, I don't have a crystal ball to pre- prevent uh, predict the future. What I'm saying is that that you can have a 2020 vision. You have a crystal clear vision for for what's to come for for the future. What's going to happen? Uh, and so, I want to talk to you about developing that crystal clear vision. And if you want to see kind of what 2020 is going to be like, if you want to see what's coming your way. And a good way to go about doing that you know, and, and getting as close to you can as that or having a really good idea of what's going to happen is to get crystal clear uh, on your vision. On uh, really, on having that vision, I'm not just saying this isn't just a, a want or a desire or, or what you hope might happen in some sort of flimsy wish way. Now, this is a, a crystal clear vision. And when you get really clear on certain things, then you're going to you're going to have a, a, that 2020 vision of 2020. So what are these things to get crystal clear on? Well, first of all is the desires. You know, it and, and having that that want, that hope, that wish for the future is important. But you got to get crystal clear on it. Like it really define what it is that you want. And this is kind of a little tricky, you know, we go kind of muddy area sometimes because you know we we might want you know more money. Okay. That's, that's, you know, a, a popular one. I get it. I, I'm with you. You know, having a better financial situation, it, it's, it's it tends to always be a good thing, right? But no, the, the real want right there might be, you know, to have more money. It might be to, you know, to, to have a better uh, financial situation so that you can have a little bit more peace of mind, you know, a little bit of less stress because you feel more comfortable where you're at financially. So really diving into the wants and the desires and, and what will make a big impact on your life, you know, can be very helpful, you know, when you're developing your vision uh, for this future and this, uh, this upcoming year. So what it is that you really want, as well as what can make that big impact, because, well, 
if you focus on all your wants, you know, if you're anything like me, then you want multiple things. And if you focus on all those different things all at once, well, you're not going to make much progress. So zeroing in on what you really want and what's going to make the biggest impact, you know, will help that vision become a reality. And then the next thing that you might want to zero in on a little bit, you know, and get really crystal clear on is what you expect, you know, what you expect out of yourself. Um, because if, if you're not going to really have that high expectation for what you're going to put into it, in, into achieving, you know, this vision and making it real, if you're not going to have that high expectation for yourself, then, then don't, then, then don't set that vision so high. And then while you set that high expectation, you get really clear or not high, but while you get clear on your expectation, you'll get clear on your determination. And, and once again, it's not that all these have to be super high expectations and high, uh, you have to be super determined. No, just make sure that they're matching up. You know, if, if you don't, and maybe your desire is, is for a small improvement, then that's okay. That's a great thing. And then when that's, and then you have that, that small step going forward, you know, you can set your expectation to, to achieve that step and you can have your determination match that, you know, so that you can hit that. And with the determination, you know, a good way to build determination, you know, and it's similar to motivation, a, a, a good way to build that and, and to have it be what you need it to be is to know exactly why you have that desire, exactly why you want to achieve what you're setting out to achieve. And when, when you know that why, and it's one that's important, then it's a lot easier to be determined. Uh, and then with that determination, so you're going to get crystal clear and really know your level of willingness. So you might be determined to, to do something, uh, but you really have to, have to be willing to do those steps. You know, and don't be tr crazy <laughs> and, and try to do everything. You know, you, you, you can't, you know, when, just be willing to take the steps, to, you know, to meet that expectation that you have, that, that you want for yourself so that you can achieve uh, the desires that you set out for this year. Just be willing, be willing. And a good way to be willing, once again, is go back to that reason why. And while you're, while you're taking steps throughout this upcoming year, or this upcoming year, through this year we're in, you know, while you're taking those steps, being willing is huge. Uh, and then at the same time, realizing and reminding yourself of what you've done so far, what you've, the progress that you've made, See, that can help you to continue to be willing to take more steps because you're not just looking at how far you have to go, but you see how far you've come from. And as soon as you've taken any steps going toward what you want, think back and remind yourself of those whenever that willingness or, or is starting to wane. You know, when, when you're not really feeling that, that spur to go on and to take action, uh, remind yourself of the progress you've made so far, and that can help keep you going forward. All right. Now, next, I want you to, to, to make a resolution. I want you to resolve to do your best for your best life and then forget the rest. Like, you, you, you don't need to be the best at, at, at everything or, or anything, you know, but just, but just the best, the best for you and your life and what you have, what you have inside of you and, and your energy, your focus, your determination, your drive. All of that, I want you to think about doing the best you have with what you have right now so that you can get the best result for this, this year and really just to have the best life that you can and to take those steps going forward. It's not for anybody else and it's not compared to anybody else. It's just resolving that for, to give your best for your best. And honestly, the best part about this one is forgetting the rest. As soon as you do your best for the, you know, for the right reasons for your life, then you really don't have to worry about anything else. You don't, you know, life's not going to be perfect. You know, it's, it's not going to be, you know, exactly everything that we would dream for it to be. Probably, you know, it doesn't need to be, but when it's the, when it's the best for, for you and your life, when, you know, when it's my life is the best for me and my life, it's not comparing it to any outside thing or source or person or situation. And that's when we know, when you know that you've given what you got, then you don't have to worry about anything else. You can forget about the rest. You can forget about everybody else because you've given the best that you have 
for what you believe is right for you and your life and your desires and, 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 and you're making it happen to the best of your ability, then there's nothing else left out there. It's a really freeing uh, thought or an emotion. It's a really freeing place to be. All right. So now all this to say, get crystal clear on your vision for 2020. You can go make it happen. And uh, and if you're interested, there's an, uh, a poll post that I did a while back on you know knowing what you'll get out, uh, and it's all about knowing what you'll get out of a situation, out of out of your goals, out of your life by knowing what you'll put into it. You can go to nickmazy.com, search for ninety nine because uh, it was episode ninety nine, uh, or you know search for knowing what you'll get out. I think 99 is just a, an easy way. It'll pop right up, uh, and you can view the post and listen to the podcast there. Or on whatever app you're listening to this podcast, just scroll down to episode 99. Now, while you're pursuing your goals, while you're pursuing uh, th this vision that you have, uh, there's a really good little, I guess, acronym that I love, and it's FOCUS. Follow one course until success. That's all you got to do. You, know, you, you set out exactly what you want. And you keep going after it. Now, gr getting crystal clear on, on your desires and, and your expectations and your determination and your willingness and your resolve, you know, that can help you follow that one course until success. All right, so you can have 2020 vision in 2020. And it just it's up to you. You can make it happen. I promise. You don't have to do it all at once. Just take a small step. Go in that direction that you want. You know, take a small step, getting crystal clear on, on what that is and what you're willing to do to make it happen, and just follow it. You can do it, and you, you can choose your mindset, goals, and actions. And you can make the life that you want to happen happen. If you, all right, that was uh, this, that's uh, today's episode. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for being a, a part of this Enjoy Life podcast. Uh, if you, if you do like it at all, please rate and review. It helps a lot more people find it. I think there's you know, 700,000 or a million podcasts probably by now. Uh, and, and with all those out there, uh, a, a quick rating and review does a huge help in helping more people find it. Also, you can go to nickmazy.com slash FB. That will take you to the Facebook page. Uh, if you're there, please like it. Uh, if you like it. That'll also help more people find it, and, and that way you'll be able to get uh, some of the, the positive, uh, helpful stuff I try to put on social media. And if you want a little bit of uh, help for a free video training on creating life targets, you know, these powerful targets that you that you set for uh, this year in your life, you know, when you, when you do them and you get clear in certain areas, you make them as powerful as you can, as well as, you know, making that plan to achieve them, make them resonate with where you're at right now in your life. Uh, when you do those things, it, it makes it easier to achieve them uh, so that you can make the progress that you want. Just go to nickmazy.com slash CLT, uh, and that's where you can get instant access to that free video training uh, and start taking steps toward the life that you want. Once again, that's nickmazy.com slash CLT uh, for creating life targets. All right. Thanks again for listening. Take care. Hope you have a great rest of your day and your week, and uh, I can't wait to talk to you again soon.